So trying to do something to help your future self. On this first day when you're moving, and as nice as it would be to just be able to throw all of these clothes straight in the washing machine right now, obviously I can't. I have to do some rearranging of this room to figure out where the plugs are to then organise the space a bit better more user friendly shall we say. In my carry on I did buy like a muesli bar. I brought one with me because ah and I found my key ring because and I just found this just a new world and I mean there's so many you guys have your own granola bars and all sorts but just something because right at this very moment I have absolutely no idea where the closest grocery store is I don't know how much anything is, I don't know how to get places, I, because I've got no internet today, I can't actually even figure that stuff out for myself, which, what a shame. I know I've made a video before on like, how much do you need? Um, before we left the airport, I was hoping to do it before I exited out, but just the layout of Kuwait airport. So when the person that picked me up from the airport, I'm like, I need to exchange money. I didn't use that many words, but I did because that's the thing. Now I've been left. If I hadn't have spoken up, then I don't know, <laughs> like, what, <laughs> what would I have possibly done if I hadn't bought my own money to exchange like you kind of I think you'd be screwing yourself in some ways and yes while I don't think that going to the bank and going to an exchange place at the airport is the best idea I did as the guy was exchanging and I did bring up xe.com because I have the app and the rate was actually very much on par which is very rare and I definitely didn't expect that from a place at the airport. But what's missing right now? I need some loo paper. So I'm gonna have to find where I've got a packet of tissues. I always carry tissues somewhere. I just I just can't think for the life of me where they are, but I need to wait before I go. <laughs> so that could be something as well that you pack and maybe it's already in your carry-on. Actually I'm sure I have some in my carry-on. I just haven't seen it in the last day of flying because I haven't needed to do up until today up until right now but yeah to try and be preventative and because I think that's it I think you don't know how you're gonna feel necessarily like if I didn't feel okay right now which is highly likely because I've been flying for so many hours then I might not want to go out but I did just take the bottle off the plane which I know you're not supposed to do but I did and I just threw it in my carry-on handbag just in case because I literally have no idea where any stores are and I think that just kind of adds to the stress that if I felt like just falling into this bed then I could and especially now knowing I can wake up and have something to drink and have something to eat and also in my carry-on which if you've seen how I pack for my long haul then you'll know that I have different changes of clothes which I really should get up and have a shower and put on a new set of clothes that's gonna make you feel great too but I also this time because I really didn't know how I was gonna feel pack my pajamas into my carry-on which I wouldn't normally do but because it's just that longer flight time I didn't want to have to open up the big suitcase if I didn't have to like it just at least one night because you know I've got a little toiletries bag and my carry-on which has all, enough of the basic. I can totally share, get changed, have a whole new set of clean clothes on. I just think those kind of things to try and help, help yourself. Now I don't know about bringing a roll of loo paper. I mean, I am very particular and I do like to have three to four ply if I can, <laughs> which I will be looking for. But otherwise, I, yeah, I'm, I think I'm pretty satisfied with what they have provided. It's enough to start off with. It's a good starting point and then obviously I can just buy extra things that I particularly want to have. If you are also in the situation too where you've got no internet on this first day. So obviously I messaged people when I got to Dubai with my layover and that's the last they're going to hear from me between now and I think tomorrow. For some people that might be quite difficult. I've moved to a country, I have no idea where I am 
I haven't I don't know anybody and I have no internet so I will say that is quite a barrier and I think especially because of the world in which we live now like it's just so vital to have working internet and it is a shame that it's not just up and going but if this does happen to you I have some things on my hard drive on my laptop this also it could be for some people a bit of a recipe of disaster for their adjustment and their well-being I'm not one of them I can't I, I mean I'm disappointed don't get me wrong yeah I think for some that would be this this situation walking in and going oh, I can't I can't tell people I got here okay could be really worrying and yeah if you've got people on the other end which I definitely do but at the same time it's explainable once once I get into need and I think taking a moment as well and thinking what you're grateful for I mean it's pretty cool for example me I'm very grateful like I, this is a new country for me I've never been here before no idea what I'm in what I'm in store for so I'm pretty grateful that this opportunity has happened and that I get to be here and that everything's new and exciting because it is doing things just to take care of you because that really is the main thing and if it is that you just have to crash as soon as you arrive listen to your body